What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. That's right, we're back baby. We've got some new DLC we're gonna be checking out today. I bet you weren't expecting this in your sub box. And uh, man, I gotta be honest. I was looking at our House Flipper playlist before I started this. This series is insane. We started uploading this game back in 2018. We've uploaded over 50 videos since then. We've had Chelsea some videos. We've done all kinds of crazy stuff. Checked out all the DLCs. Like this game truly does keep on giving. So here we go. Let's check this thing out. We've got the new House Flipper Pets DLC. Not really sure what to expect out of this it looks like we're going uh going out into the sticks we've got some ranches and some white picket fences and you know getting out of the city here the city living so stowaway tenant is going to be our first job alice finbar always wanted to see the world after graduating from university she decided to satisfy her wanderlust and three years later while on a remote trail she found a hungry and sick bunny he eventually became her travel mate Alice has bought her first house recently. She wants to move in with Jesper the bunny ASAP. Settling down will be something new for the both of them. Sounds nice. Oh, look at this. It's got a little railway next to us. This looks very quaint, very beautiful. Congratulations, Alice. Graduated, took a couple years off I to travel, and then the bought her own house. That's pretty cool. Mount Kilimanjaro and driven a dog sled in Alaska. But house renovation is not really my thing. I've heard you can do wonders, and I want my home to be one. Right now, it's in a worse state than Machu Picchu. It should be something more than just my base camp. Lots of puns happening here. A place I can here. work from, live in, rest, and have fun. Cozy and welcoming. A proper home for me and my bunny. I want him to be happy here too. Let's go out with the old and in with the new. Interesting. So are we, uh, I mean, obviously pets is kind of the theme here. Are we, are we going to be adding in things for the bunny or how, how is this going to work? Let's head outside here. We're going to go ahead and pick some of the weeds and stuff. Welcome home, baby. All right. So this looks pretty, pretty simple. Let me go ahead and turn some lights on in here so we can see. But yeah, it looks, uh... It looks manageable. You know, we've got a kitchen area. We've got a bedroom down here. We've got a little living room hangout spot. It's like this is a closet. Is there no... This is the bathroom. I mean, that looks pretty nice. Doesn't really look like there's a whole lot we have to do outside of cleaning. And then we've got this upstairs room, which is... What is going on here? We go ahead and clean all this up. Here we go. Just going to get to work. Get all the stains out. Get, I mean, that was a blood splatter. All right. I mean, that's typically not what you want to see in a new house you're moving into. But I guess that's why we got a good deal on it, huh, Alice? A dog? It's a husky puppy. We're calling her. Seriously? There's a dog in my house? It's a cute dog, too. I can't keep him for Jesper's safety's sake. Oh, you you totally could. He, he definitely but wouldn't hunt But my good him. friend may figure something out. Why is there a dog in a box in the attic? Morgan Williams. Hi, like he's a rabbit guy, Morgan. too. It looks like this puppy needs a new home. Do you want to adopt him? Yes. Absolutely. Great. I'm sure the two of you will get along in no time. Wait, we get our own pets in this game? I thought we were Check setting up people's houses for pets. For tips or for more companions. I've got a husky puppy now. He's he's very dirty and he's got a hat on. I'm going to put you right here. <laughs> Bro, what is going on? I can interact with him. Can I pet him? Ooh, pet. Who's the good boy? You can pet the dog. That's the most important thing of any video game. There's pick up, follow me, give a treat, fetch, tug of war, casual tug of war, maybe? I gotta get back to work, little little pup. Um, I'm I'm gonna deal with you in a second. I'm a little bit confused as to as to what's going on here. Oh, oh, she made a mess downstairs. I, how did I not notice this? She came in from outside, made a, few, a couple messes downstairs, and then went upstairs. Interesting. And she's the one that caused all this mess. She knocked the vase off. She tore open these pillows. Okay, this this makes a bit more sense. I I'm. I mean, if I was in like a horror film or something, I, I I would have been so far dead, just not even paying attention. We 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 definitely should have should have picked up on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and at least pick this stuff up for Alice. Get our little flowers centered. That looks good. Does she want this? There's no way she wants these. Those are absolutely terrible. Looks like she wants all that stuff. Bedroom's looking good. Okay, so she's got a couple of things. I'm thinking we're gonna go with some sort of a brown for the couch. Yeah, something like this looks pretty cozy. So we can get this tucked back up against the uh, the wall here. 
It's a big couch in a small room. It doesn't really fit, but we're going to be okay. So we've got that. We're going to go with this table. What do we have going on over in the kitchen? We've got light wood happening. So we're going to want to match that with a, uh, you know, maybe something like that. We could two-tone it. Could be kind of interesting. Something like that. Big coffee table, big couch. We've got a lot of big stuff happening here. And then we've got this, this guy. Brown coffee. Go ahead and place that. So that's a wrap on that room. Upstairs, I know we had a decision to make. So we've got this here. Bunnies are lively animals and need a lot of space to have fun. The best option is a free roam room, but sometimes I'll be safer to close one, especially when we have other animals at home or unsecured stairs. Now the problem is, is the stairs are unsecured. So I'm thinking this is probably gonna be the, the best option. So we, oh, we have a bunch of new pet options hold on let's let's get the ac center that thing with the uh with the wall there just gonna casually drill into some brick get this guy up here connect uh green black white all the above just get all the colors there screw them in we can get these things over she screw it in plate on there we're good to go gonna go with the brown sliding door She'll be able to sneak that in there. What's the, the color of the one downstairs? It's white. All right, we're going to go with a white sliding door. Just kidding. White sliding door in there. That looks a little bit better. All right, here we go. So now we're going to get into... I mean, we've got a bunny enclosure here. I'm thinking let's make this a little bit nicer. We're, we're going we're gonna to do a, a lot of very bright colors. I like that we have the option. I'm thinking light, light and black. Or maybe light and brown, but I feel like the... I feel like the light and black looks good. So I'm going to put this guy over here underneath the window. Get some natural light. You could actually open it and stuff too. This, this is pretty good. You can... Oh, we can fill with food. Some rabbit food there. Beautiful. Excuse me. I need I need you I need you to get out of here. This is not a spot for dogs. All right. You, you come with me. <laughs> You're just the cutest little thing I ever did see. Look at this, dude. This might be the cutest thing, the cutest thing ever. All right, you you come over here. I'm gonna place you down. You stay. Looks like we want a couch in here. I'm gonna put a couch maybe against that wall. We'll see how it goes. I'm thinking some lighter tables here. We've got this little poof thingy. We could probably do kind of like a darker brown with a light pillow, or like a tan pillow. We've got kind of an interesting, interesting look going on so far, but I feel like it fits it. You know, we're out in the boonies. Gonna brighten the space up a little bit here. We're gonna have a white desk over in the corner. I like the music we've got going on here. What would you do with this red, green, white? Probably white. We could do a white, a white plant. I mean, if we put this over here, the bunny might eat it. Could probably put it, you know, kind of next to the next to the desk. I'm gonna buy two of them, put them on each side of the desk, frame the desk there. So we've got that. We've got a dr drakina. Maybe use these to frame this guy over here. Lots of plants are always a good thing. How are you doing? What are you doing down there? Just hanging out in the stairs. Such a good girl. We've got a new a new light here. I'm gonna say let's go with the brown metal. Maybe with the white steel. Okay. So we've got that there. Turn the lights on. And this is, this is a pretty comfy little upstairs area. I like it. I haven't squeegeed a window in a really long time, but we can get that done. There it is. All right. Bunny cage is done. This dog needs a nice wash. Do we have like a, a hose outside we can do or something? I think we're all good. We came in under budget. We got it done. Oh, it wants, they want, they want this thing. Okay. I'm going to say, uh, let's keep, let's keep this elm, coarse oak, American elm, white steel, White details. We could put this thing over here in the yard. Bam, looks good. So we totally could get our lawnmower out. I mean, we, we do... We've got this thing, and then we've also... Uh, we used to have a lawnmower. We don't have it currently. I'm, I'm just going to... I'm going to call that good. All right. I mean, we got ourselves a, a new dog. We took care of a pretty easy job here. It's a good one for our first one. Unfortunately, our husky is the one that caused most of this mess. But uh, we got it done for Cleaned everything up and uh, nicely, nicely done. Sorry, little buddy. I uh, I don't really have much of a home to come home to. Now we, the thing is, is we actually did this. This was one of my favorite builds we ever did in this series. I like made a master bedroom with photos of Chelsea and I, and like made myself an entire gaming setup over in the garage. I don't know if you guys remember this. We had like a really cool back patio with grills and a pool and things like that. 
And uh, I guess I guess it didn't it didn't save. So now we are basically homeless. But it, at least at least I've got you, Lassie. She needs hygiene. Do we have like a dog washing? We've we've got to have a dog washing option here. We've got giant cat treadmills. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! I can't wait for that. Look at these cat trees. That is magnificent. There's so many options here. Santra's washing tub for large dogs. All right, I'm, I'm gonna start by putting this over in our garage. Dude, this sucks. If we had this house still complete, we, we could totally, you know, just make it work. But I'm, I'm gonna live out of the garage for now. Come on, here you go. Let me let me pick you up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick you up. Such a good girl, Lassie. Come on, Lassie, come with me. So I'm gonna pick you up. I'm going to put you over in here. Oh, this is cool. This is, this is sweet. All right. Um, is this hooked up? Oh, there it is. Good girl. Good girl. Go ahead and blow dry ya. Good girl. Can we do any like brushing or anything like that? I don't think we could do any brushing. No needs currently. All right. She can let herself out. Now I'm thinking, let me, let me get some lights. I'm going to put some some halogens here in the garage we're gonna start in the garage we may eventually move over towards the uh the main house but this is this is a good area to start in for now we need a uh, a switch put this on the wall we can turn this thing on so this is this is our new home now i, I did see there if we search if we search light do we have so many new options look at this we've got we've got rabbit lights fish lights dog lights all kinds of things so I'm, I'm gonna get something to commemorate here's here's the the camera neon um i'm gonna do it in in dark pink xl this is to commemorate the addition of uh of old lassie here lassie i'll see you later i gotta go to work should be fine. I'm, I'm not worried about it at all. You can totally just lock your you lock your dog in there. Um, okay, so we, wow, we can get Australian shepherds. We can get beagles. We can get pugs. Labrador puppy. <gasps> gotta do it. And there he is. Who's a good boy? You think they got a great parodies in there? Honestly, looks like a lab puppy. Doesn't really look like a golden, but we'll take it. Gotta love those brown eyes, those trusting brown eyes. And I'm gonna put you in here. You guys are just gonna hang out in the garage. This is kind of a typical thing. What's what's the movie where the, the dog is out in the garage and then he cries all night and he goes and gets him? It's a really, really touching dog movie. Let me check out what else we have going on here at, at Morgan's Pet Care. Husky puppy, German shepherd puppy, Pomeranian, Labrador. All right, looks good to me. We've also got cats. We've got a Bengal kitten. Dude, this is so cool. We've got a rag doll. Tell me we, we've got a black trash cat, a Bombay. That that looks like a black trash cat. European Scottish foal with those cute little ears. And then a Norwegian. All right, well, we're gonna go with a Bombay. We gotta do it. Hi, kitty. How are you? Do oh, she's so small. Oh my goodness. Could I put you, could I put you on this? Do you wanna do, do you wanna do any running? You don't really wanna do any running? Dude, what? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. This is amazing. Can I play with yarn? Oh, get it, get it, Bella, get it. All right, let me let me pick her up. We're we're gonna we're gonna give her a treat. Want a treat? Wow, a goldfish. Play with a feather rod, dude. What? This is the best game I've ever played in my entire life. This is amazing. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, you can you can even flick it. Go get it. Go get it. Here I am in my just broken down, rotten down house. There's there's nothing but, oh, oh, she got it. She got it. Dude, I'm half tempted to say, screw all these other jobs. I just want to build a house for me and my, my you know, companions here to be as happy as, as possible. I'm going to put her in here. So, I mean, we're pretty close. Honestly, the Husky could kind of be Coda. They're uh, not a similar breed, but they're, you know, we can pretend, I guess. Um... I was curious if Coop was going to have, you know, something different, like fetch or something like that. Oh, I guess we do have fetch. Go get it. Go get it. Good boy, Coop. Go get it. Oh, he's so excited. Oh, the Frisbee. Go get it. Go get the Frisbee. He's not really like Coop. Coop really likes Frisbees and, and playing fetch and stuff. Did, did, did Koda sneak out? 
Where'd Koda go? I'm not even sure where Koda went. Dude, it doesn't even end there. You've got bunnies. You've got rodents. We've got guinea pigs, hamsters. Ooh, that was a very brooding hamster there. It doesn't look very, very happy. We've got more guinea pigs. We've got iguanas. We've got turtles, parrots. We've got angelfish, discus fish, danios. We've got egg-eating snakes, and we've got adult spiders. Oh my goodness, dude. Are, are you kidding me? You could have your pet work with you, so your dogs can dig holes. You can have them, if they're adults, they can they can carry your paint around for you. Obviously, you can you can play, you have to feed them. You need to let them sleep and, and get beds for them and things. You've got bad time going potty. Before we even think about moving on to our next job, we're just gonna have to take care of the home front. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch uh, Lassie to Coda. So we've got Coop Coda and Bella was just here, but I, did she take off going back to her ball of yarn? I'm assuming I, I have no idea where she went. We've, oh, there she is right there. I'm gonna start with a little bit of interior paint here. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go too crazy. It's it's something we might end up building up over time. Let me get to our demolition. I'm, I'm just gonna make us one big bottom floor room here. We might end up adding a bathroom. Basically, I just want a nice place for my pets to hang out. I'm not gonna put them in the garage. We're, we're, we're gonna have a nice setup here. No ifs, ands, or buts. I, I don't want to go worry about making money until they're happy here at home and they have all their needs met. We're going to need litter boxes. We're going to need, you know, food and water bowls. We're going to need all kinds of stuff. We're a hardworking man. We're going to be gone quite a bit, but we want to make sure they've got a home that they can enjoy themselves in. Just watch out, pets. You don't want to end up getting into any of this this bad stuff. Coop is freaking hyped up right now, dude. This this is amazing. It's it's just the companionship. I feel like they don't really add too much, but I guess if he could follow me around with a bucket of paint, that's nice. But I feel like mainly it's it's just the companionship here. Aw, she's, she's meowing at us. All right, Trev, you're gonna have to stop awing. I don't know how many animations and things they have made here, but if I could put a pool in the backyard at some point and have Coop jump in, I'm gonna be very, very happy about that. This paint's called Horizon because we've got beautiful new horizons coming our way. So we've got that there. Let me get, uh, we need this second sliding door. We're gonna put this guy in like this. And then I guess, I mean, I like the blue and maybe like a, a white everywhere else, a white paint. Don't wanna get too crazy with our, our colors. Every time I turn around and get some paint, they're just both both in my face. This is so accurate. For for me, it's usually Bella. For Chelsea, it's it's Coop. Every time she turns around, he's gonna be right there. I have no clue where Coda is. Coda, you chilling outside? I mean, that's pretty accurate too. He would be off doing his own thing, dude. This this is great. I love this. I'm on the hunt for Coda. I I have no no idea where Coda went. I've not seen him in a very long time and it's starting to make me a little bit- Oh, he's back here. Oh, he's in his doghouse. I was just gonna wonder. It looks like this thing's a little bit old and disheveled, buddy. I, I think you can you can do better than this here. But come, come, with, come with me. I'm literally just going to, to kind of almost recreate our house, I feel like here. A lot of you guys probably know what the house looks like just based on, you know, videos over the years and things like that. We don't really have tiles like this. I mean, I guess technically we do. They're just a lot bigger. But uh, yeah, bring these all the way through there. All right, bam. So we've got a floor and now we, we, we need the pet basics. I'm not going to get too crazy into this right now. We might end up adding on over time, but we, we just need the basics. So we're, we're going to go in. Let me see the new stuff in pets. This is where things could get interesting. There's a bird cage, a guana terrarium. A freshwater aquarium. Now, I gotta be honest, I would love an aquarium. I, I would be so hyped to have an aquarium. I'm gonna go black, and we're gonna have white wood, black knobs. Something like this would be so sick. I'm gonna put this over in the corner. Now, we're gonna need some fish to put in there, and I think that's where our, our little friend is gonna come from. Bella, please get out of the wall. I didn't want you to, you know transform through walls and things so if we come in here and we go to morgan we can go to our fish and i'm gonna say like I, I like this angel fish here let me take care i'm gonna put it in there choose this is gonna be uh fred fred the fish so we got fred in there 
got a few few friends. Let me just reach into the wall and get my cat out of the wall. Please don't do that again, Bella. I, it makes me a little uncomfortable when you're doing all that wizard stuff. Now, like I said, this is just kind of a, a rough a rough go at it to start things off here. I'm just going to put a few lights in here just so we have a little bit of light so we're not sitting here in the dark. Put that right by the front door. All right, we've got some lights in here. Now we really, again, let's not get carried away here. We need we need actual, like, pets, you know, keeping them alive type things. I, I need, there's a dog treadmill. Why? Well, I, I have one of those. I've done one of the videos on that. Cleaning table. There's the washing thing that we, we have out in the garage. Here it is. Automatic dog feeder. All right, so I'm going to get it in white. I like the white because it stands out a little bit more. I'm thinking these probably want to be over towards the back door because we can let them eat and then we can, you know, kind of let them go outside and go potty. So we're going to do food and water right here. I'm hoping that Coop and Coda can share. And then we're going to need a, uh, a pet feeder as well. Oh, we could even get little under bowl mats. Definitely going to get Bella a little feather on a stick. Dude, look at these guys. This is actually really, really cute. I'm going to get Bella a cat tree. We're going to put this over in, in a corner over here, kind of by the window, maybe. I feel like she'd really enjoy that because then she gets to sun and, and take in the natural sunlight. So next to that, we're going to be able to put, you know, maybe a little, little cat bed or a gigantic cat bed. I've never seen a cat bed this large, but all right, we'll, we'll do a cat, a cat, cat bed from freaking... I don't even know where. I've never seen something that big. So we've got that. And then I need uh, automatic cat feeder. We could put this next to the bed. Automatic water next to that. And then we need some sort of a litter box. I'm going to go. I like the, the black look here. I like ooh, pink with black. Hot pink. I like the hot pink. There it is. Okay, we've got a litter box here. Gonna put this over in the corner. Nobody really wants to deal with those, but hey, it's it's a part of having a cat. So that's our kitty corner. We could put this over here. Little mouse cat toy we could put right there. She loves her ball of yarn. I can't put that in her bed, but I could put it next to it. As for dog beds, I would to get something bougie. This looks pretty bougie here. So we're gonna go... I kind of like this cedar. Let's go with black bedding. And then maybe, hmm, what kind of pillows do we want to go for? Ooh, the blue's not bad. Something like that isn't bad. Are these going to be big enough for these boys? We could put these under these windows. I feel like those are very, very small. Are there better dog bed options? There's, there's got a pillow bed XL. This has got to be it. I mean, that's really not that big either, but I feel like that fits a little bit better. So we can, we could put, we could put these two side by side. These are a little bit too bougie. That's if you've got like a little Pomeranian or something. We, we got some some big boys that are still growing, so we can put these under here. And you know what? Let's make them a little bit different. So Coops is... I mean, it, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm going to do a cream one with a... Cream one with a light pillows. Just to mix things up. Whoever can take whichever one. All right. So we've got beds. We've got food. We've got... Uh, not dog toys. Got a bone rope toy. I mean, there's really no sense in trying to organize these because if it's anything like my house, they're just going to literally be all over the place. I'm just going to randomly throw them around the floor because that's that's what's going to end up happening anyway. You know, maybe get one back in a corner somewhere. And then I like the rubber chicken. We could put this guy. Maybe somebody was taking him outside and forgot. Okay. So we've got all that. Let me sell these. Ooh, we've got some droppings. All right, let's please not do that in the house anymore, family. Um, let me let me see here. Needs happiness. Well, do you want to play with a feather? Huh? That'll give you some happiness. She's got no needs. Beautiful. Just a couple of minutes there. Let me check on Coda here. Coda needs happiness. Well, Coda, would you like a, uh, a treat? That's the number one thing that Coda likes for his happiness. Look at that. He caught it. That's not like Coda. No needs. And then finally, we've got Coop, who is just... Just loving life. Just being a golden retriever, as as always. All right, so there we have it. That, my friends, is a, uh, a good start. I think we've got most of our needs taken care of. I'm going to feel comfortable leaving these guys here at home. They, they've got a nice little setup. Obviously, over time, we could improve this, but uh, really, the, the next focus is going to be on jobs. We've got to take jobs. We've got a very interesting looking one coming up next. We've got a, uh, a lake house here. More freedom. So I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. If you guys want more from this DLC, let me know. This is, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I wouldn't say the pets add too much to the gameplay. Obviously, it's still, you know, mainly about remodeling houses and things but if we, we could have coop you know follow us around with a paint bucket and give us a, a good time some some camaraderie then i guess we'll take it so hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching catch you all later
Peace out.